Spark. A spark of an idea flames in his mind. He leans his head back on his chair and racks his head for a memory. A memory faint, but strengthening in his mind. A story remembered. Even after being hidden so long in the old man's brain, is foggy and dim, like a candle in a window across the street on a rainy night. All can find there quickly grab large fist full of black lightning. All can dark energy yet pulsated in smoke in his hand. How can last looked up? Unless you join, you will not live, Algren Tanya said, while his finger flapped, sending a small portion to the ceiling faster than a blink of an eye. The ceiling was carved with a black gaping hole, burned to the waved side, smoking with intense heat. This world we live in has so many things, wonderful things, horrible things, just things. Sparkling lakes, and sparkling guns, and sparkling snowflakes, and sparkling chains. And these things go on sparkling, go on existing even after we die. You know, I think Davey realized that. The, sh the shadow slid out the window onto the roof. Fire encircled its form. The shadow thrust the, the fire downwards with its mind, and the human dwelling exploded beneath it. The heat of the inferno propelled it upwards where the shadow reached out with his mind and found the form of a, of a bird. It seized the bird's body with its own and headed towards the lights of a distant city. Again, the shadow reached out with his mind and sensed millions of humans. The shadow had always had a fondness for humans. They were delicious. Yeah. <laughs>